Bioelectric students, this is the second part of bioprocess practical, which is introduction to bioreactor system and submerged fermentation in bioreactor. Bioreactor are vessels which provide biological, biochemical, and biomechanical requirements for optimal growth of microorganisms and synthesis of desired products. Bioreactor are closed system equipped with multiple sensor, motor driven impellers, and instrument for temperature control, gassing, and the supply of liquid. There are few components of bioreactor which are motor to move and control the speed of impeller. 2 liter double jacket glass jar bioreactor. Head plate to cover the top of vessel of bioreactor. Stirrer shaft to hold the stirrer and head plate. pH probe to measure pH. Acid and base inlet, a flow to add acid and base during fermentation process. Buffles to promote proper mixing and heat transfer. Sampling port. A valve to get the sample of the fermentation. Six blade disc impeller to maintain uniform environment throughout the vessel content. Air spudger to ensure better dispersal of air. Temperature probe to control temperature. And lastly, the control station. To set up the bioreactor, Firstly, add media to the double jacket glass vessel. Then, carefully install the head plate and tighten the screw to secure the top metal ring. Transfer the vessel into the autoclave machine. Autoclave the vessel for 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. When the vessel is ready, connect the water line. Attach the temperature and pH prop to the control station. Locate the motor drive on top of the head plate. Turn on the control station. To set the temperature, press control loop. Set the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius for ethanol fermentation. Then set the agitation to 300 RPM. After that, set the pH to 5.5. After all the parameters has been set, Remove the foil covering the inoculation tube. Add in the yeast culture into the vessel by using a sterile syringe. Sampling will be done for every 6 hours. All the sample will be analyzed by using the HPLC machine as shown in the video of Practical 1.2. Both Bioreactor and Shake Plus have their own purposes. The Shake Plus is more suitable for cell growing and screening experiments, whereas the Bioreactor is suitable for experiments that require controlled parameter and large scale product development. The bioreactor has numerous advantages over shake flask such as it provides better mixing and aeration properties. On the other hand, the distribution of nutrients in shake flask is reduced as the volume becomes larger. Other than that, a bioreactor is easier to operate especially in controlling the main parameters of a fermentation process such as temperature and pH. It is also easier to feed media into the bioreactor as compared to using shake flask. The contamination can also be minimized by using bioreactor. Thus, the bioreactor is a better option for fat batch and continuous fermentation processes. The bioreactor has its own tube for sampling. Hence, unlike shake flask, 
it does not need a laminar floor cabinet for the sampling process. There are three types of fermentation process which are batch, fat batch and continuous process. In a batch process, all the nutrients are provided at the beginning of the fermentation without further additional nutrients are added. Fat batch process is a partly open system. The nutrients is fed from the supply bottle into the bioreactor at specific time such as when the yeast cells is at exponential phase or when a nutrient is depleted. This system extends the duration of the microbes growth and productivity. For continuous fermentation, fresh media are fed into the bioreactor at a regular time interval such as for every one hour. At the same time, the products and metabolites are also extracted out from the bioreactor. This process is used to maintain the exponential growth rate of microbes.